Can you hear me? No. Hello? Testing, testing. Ah, I can hear you now. Okay. Ooh. Shouting in my ear. Right, don't knock this thing off. I've, I've stuck it up just to see if we communicado a little bit better. That feels, that feels, <laughs> that sounds better <laughs> already. Does it? Yeah. I was getting this, <laughs> yeah. And I, and I had an echo, which I hate. I can't stand. To be perfectly stand. honest, if I had to. That sounds really good. Yeah, it does yeah, me too. Really yeah. good. If I had to, what I don't understand is is how a company that produces these things, how can they get it so bad? They they, um, they just crap. Oh, they're, and they're, they're right. so they're expensive. Oh no, they're better than the other ones. Yeah. But anyway, anyway, that sounds good and I'm happy. Hello and welcome to our holiday everybody. This Hi is a completely untested <laughs> headphone setup. System. If you're, if you're uh, uh, duct taped, <laughs> so Kim's got a camera <laughs> and I've got a camera and we've done it <laughs> the traditional way. So this is the way that every other motor vlogger on the planet does it. A GoPro, an uh, audio thing and a mic. Yeah, so we're going to give it a, a go, and um, hopefully it works. It, it's going to work. We've tested it. We've d been around the block, and it seemed to work fine. So I think I think we'll be all right. We'll be all right. We actually haven't done sort of a anything above 40 kilometres an hour test. Well, this is true. Um, and it is going to pick up oh more no, road noise the than the Senna. That's um, all right. Just let it go. Dang it. <sighs> That bus will be pulling in at the top anyway. Right. Anyway, yes, we're about to go on a week's long holiday, aren't we? <gasps> yeah, <coughs> yeah. We've been working very hard and it's been very, very busy because we've been doing house renovations and stuff. Yeah. And so this is brilliant. We are so happy to be on holiday. Yeah, we basically worked through Christmas. So yeah. we're having our holiday at the end of February, which we did tell everybody. We're behind a crap ton of traffic now, but Do we are just cruising today. We so are cruising, like we've got all the yeah. panniers, we're fully laden. I haven't ridden this bike in a long time actually. Yeah, so we're just going to really take it steady. Um, but yeah, look at this place. Alright, let's do it. You ready? Yeah. It's um, pretty hot, it's about 20. <coughs> you right? <coughs> oh, no. Jesus, oh, sorry, Kim. Sorry. You pushed me over. <laughs> Topween is pretty strong, you know. Fucking watch out. There's a lot, lot of cars coming. That's alright, like I said, no rush, no rush. We With cruising, this bike is very different from the KTM. I've forgotten how different it was. Man, I hope this audio setup works. Yeah, me too. It sounds pretty clear. Well, that's got nothing to do with what it's recording. Yeah, I know that. Yeah, so we have quite, quite a cool trip planned. We're going to head up to Christchurch for a couple of days um, and stay with our friends Calvin and Sonia and do a bit of shopping. Yeah, I need some new socks. Tom needs socks and shorts. But that washing machine just eats my socks. Like I put six in, I get two back. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what's happened to all your socks. Neither I mean, do I. I don't know where they've gone. I bet you Jordan's got them. Oh, he might have accidentally on purpose taken some of them. Oh, yeah, I bet he has. Anyway, we've got two days in Christchurch. We've got two days in Hamner Springs. So we're going to go do some hiking and some hot pooling and that sort of stuff. Uh, then we've got a night... Then we're going to do the Lewis Pass. Oh, I'd love the Lewis Pass. Which we both absolutely love. It's I love uh, it. It's literally the best road in New Zealand, I reckon. It's beautiful. And, and weather like this, it'll just be sublime. It'll be amazing. Yeah, it's really nice. Yeah. Um, then we're stopping somewhere just after the Lewis Pass called Black Bull. We've booked a little Airbnb, like, farm stay in the middle of nowhere. I'm looking forward to that. Me too, that, that looks really cool. And then then we've got a couple of nights that we haven't planned yet. And then we're going to finish off the week at Lockie's... Fishing Batch. Fishing Batch on the west coast at Neil's Beach. Did he say we could stay there? Yes, already booked. Oh, yes. Yep. So okay. we can stay Friday, but if we if the weather's amazing, so we can stay too. Saturday as well, yeah. Okay. Oh, neat. 
it would be a nice way to finish off the holiday. Yeah, it'll be amazing. I love that place, it's so cool. Must take fly spray. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, we'll buy some fly, fly it's spray. It's citronella candles. It is the most amazing day today. Yeah, it's gorgeous. It is just beautiful. One of the main reasons that we wanted to travel this time of year is because it's like this for the next month in Touchwood. Touchwood. We have no wind in the end of Feb and for the whole of March in central Otago. So we, we leave in central, so it might be a bit different, but in central we get like this every day. We get absolutely zero wind and it's between 20 and 30 degrees. Very and it's settled. just beautiful. It's stunning. Stunning. Yeah, yeah we like love end of, it. End of summer coming into autumn, it's just gorgeous. Yeah, it's just the best time of year. Yeah, I'm very blessed. Yeah. I've been doing a lot of KTMing and absolutely freaking love it. Yes, I'm I've a little bit doing jealous. A lot of crashing. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, amazingly, I've crashed the bike about, I don't know, I'd say probably 12 to 15 times now. Um, and there's not a scratch on it. I think that the number plate's a bit buckled. The number plate's a bit busted. And both mirrors fell off. I uh, smashed to both mirrors off. No, actually one mirror. I managed to fix one back on. Did you? Yeah. Right. But I mean, it's uh, it's an off-road bike, you know. I mean, it's going to get dug Yeah, but it's... It, the panniers on the side, you know, the soft panniers. That protects it. That protects the bike. That takes all the hit. And I, I, I did have a fuel can yeah, actually. I saw that. Did you see it? Yeah. It's absolutely beaten to pieces. It's like somebody's smacked it with a hammer for half an hour. It's like whatever then it was like completely covered in red tape and I'm like, oh no. Yeah. Is that still usable? Yeah, yeah, it's absolutely fine. It's aluminium, so it's just it's just busted and crushed. But it, that can has taken all the hits. And the <laughs> bike hasn't got a scratch on it. It's bloody brilliant. Oh but I had gosh. taken it out, so I was carrying a, a litre and a half of fuel around in one of the panniers because I was sort of aware that the fuel tank's quite small. But honestly, we've been out for eight hours up in these hills all day and I haven't reached anywhere near a full tank. So it's, it's super economical, which is surprising because it's a big 700cc single piston but it'll go all day so i've taken that out i've taken that out i've replaced it actually with a little fire extinguisher i bought a little um tiny tiny little fire extinguisher because it is so dry in these hills I just oh my gosh right you if you watch the tom's vlogs of his rides you can see it's just like a tinderbox yeah and i just thought if anything happens then we're going to need a fire extinguisher so and nobody else is carrying one so i thought i'll be the sensible one i've got like a first aid kit and a fire extinguisher good yeah and a spare pair of socks <laughs> <laughs> <Very important. laughs> you always need a spare spare, spare, <laughs> pair, spare pair of socks isn't it uh, amazing through here look at this Yes, I mean, you've spent a heck of a lot of money to get set up, like all the gear. It's very expensive. But I think you're there now, aren't you? Yeah, it's just like the general setup with any sport or activity. Once you set up, it's not that bad. But that initial expense is pretty full on. I remember um, going on our big trip overseas last year, coming through here, it was all covered in yeah. snow. Now midsummer, this is what it looks like. Yeah, we have noticed um, there are a lot. There's of a lot, a lot, a lot. Around. Yeah, they've they've arrived. Yeah. Um, We've had three years. Oh dear, look, there's a classic tourist overtaking on a blind corner. Oh, good grief! Uh, overtaking a, a you know thirty ton truck on a blind corner. For those of you that follow the channel, apologies with the audio uh, issues. For those of you that vlog, no. you will understand there's a lot of people with an opinion on the subject 
that actually have not a clue what they're talking about. I've spent many, many, many hours and literally thousands of dollars on, on audio setups. Yeah. So for instance, to get it this right. setup, borrow my son's GoPro to put on Kim's head, so that would have been 800 bucks. I've had to buy two microphones, they're $200 each. Uh, I've had to buy the... No, Sainers. not the centers, the um, the bit that joins the microphone to the GoPro, they're 100 bucks each. So, And it's all because I wanted Kim's voice to be clearer. The original setup with the Hero 4 was great. It was bloody great. It, was. it didn't capture any wind noise, but unfortunately Kim's voice was really quiet. So this is going to be a bit more wind noise for sure, but in theory this should be a it should be a cleaner Plain sound for both of us. The problem is, is what people don't understand is when I take the footage from you and the footage from me and overlap them you get double the road noise so this is yeah. either going to work or it's going to be a complete waste of money I oh i really hope it's too. not i really hope it works yeah loads of people on the road we're not used to it we've, we've had three years of complete isolation here with close to no tourists so we're just starting to get the chinese tourists there's loads of americans here at the moment Hold it now for 10 seconds. Hi. Hello. Here in Tecapo. <laughs> We're here in Tecapo. We've stopped. We've found a little pizza place. We're going to have a margarita pizza. Mm. Mm. Kim Angry. wanted a fairly pie, but I wasn't in a pie mood. <laughs> I'm pretty gassed, to be honest, because I've been looking forward to my pie. I I'll eat pie. the pizza. You will stop and get a pie. I haven't had a pie for like a year. Yeah, whatever. All right, let's go. Have That's you been over there? Hot. Have you been and seen if it's ready? No, I think it's. I can only just smell them. I think it's only just. Yeah. Nah, I'm fine. Have you got the keys on it? Uh, they're in the. Back of the thing. Okay, I'm gonna get my cap because it's okay. Look where we are. Mm, there's the church down there. The little church. Happy? I think Kim would have preferred a pie, but we were hungry. Who wanted a pizza? I love pizzas. Mm. <laughs> mm. I enjoyed that. Did you? Not bad. Not yeah. bad. It's a nice story. Yeah. Too, too much pesto. Made a delicious pizza and then just poured pesto over the whole thing. I'm a I'm a a margarita purist, aren't you? Well, Tomato and cheese, and that's it. Yeah. Right, the Close bike's the going great, by the way. Yeah. What are you going to do with that can? Get rid of it. <sighs> oh, it's really, really getting hot. It is. Yeah. Oof. Get some airflow going. Some airflow. I can tell when you're giving me a nasty look, even through your helmet. <laughs> right, man, do you want to push back or anything? Yeah, no, no, I don't want to push back, just watch out. Okay, you're clear. We're at the petrol, eh? We've got half a tank. Brilliant. We've been going really steady. Yeah, that's true. Makes a difference, eh? Yeah, it makes a huge difference. It is 1.30. I think we did the right thing having the pizza because, uh, wow, look at the colour of that water. Oh, it's incredible. 
Should we go past the historic yeah. church just to show everybody that That's hasn't seen it? Yeah, wow, that's pure glacial water, isn't it? Yeah. We just drove past Mount Cook. I don't think you can see it from this lake. Not here, anyway. But it was amazingly clear. Yeah, it's definitely raining over the mountains, look, on the top up there. Yeah, it is, yeah. Oh, this is very famous, the Sweet Church. The Sweet Church is where all the tourists come and yeah. see and get the selfie sticks out of. <laughs> It's a really pretty little church, but yeah, it's very historic. Look at that view. Yeah. Yeah, gorgeous. Very pretty place. Is Tugwina replete? I oh, yeah, I had three perfect little pieces of pizza. Mr. Tom had like six. I did it. You had five. I didn't, I had four. You had five. And you had three. I had five. You had five and I had three. But you do another rider and you're the man. And I'm 30 kg heavier than you. And I shouldn't be eating that much pizza anyway. I need <laughs> to be really careful. That's why I've, I think I've been able to shift some weight finally. Because we haven't been eating pizzas. Well, <laughs> that too. <but laughs> look at this little place on the right. That's pretty. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, these little stone cottages. Oh. That's real 60s. Set, like 50s even, maybe. Not the old school. Oh, wow, I've got that nice place such, there. Such a beautiful place. Isn't it? Stunning. Yeah, it's <laughs> lovely. Tekapo is just as beautiful. And there's this really lovely forest here. If you like mountain biking. Yeah. yeah. That forest there is just so Me. nice. Brilliant mountain biking in this woods. And it's easy. Yeah. It's really like lovely, really easy yeah. tracks. Rolling and it's little so tracks. Pretty. Yeah. And you can go paddle boarding and whatever out there as well. Now we're stuck behind a blooming Panigale. No worries. <laughs> Right, let's have him, Kim. No, let's not have him. You just leave him. <laughs> You're fully loaded with the pillion. We can still take him. Don't you dare. Ah, <laughs> oh dear. Tub wiener and buttons. Honestly, she sits there at night. I don't know. I don't and you just she'll press every single button on the TV <laughs> controller and then be like, Mr. Tub, it's not working. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, and I, have to re I have to reset and calibrate the whole TV to make it work again every night. <laughs> you know I'm right. <laughs> oh, the, my, my best trick is when I pick the, the remote up and I might accidentally push my hand over all like five buttons. I know, little fat fingers will press about <laughs> ten buttons all at the same time. Oh wait, don't you try and catch that bike? I'm not. I'm not uh, trying to, I, I know, know it will. I know what I know what men are like, they're so bloody competitive. Yeah, the red head the red mist. It's ridiculous. Anyway, she's exactly the same with her mobile phone, right? Not. Yes, you are. You'll press all the buttons and you'll be like, why are all these flashing at me, <laughs> Mr. Tom? I'm like, That's <laughs> what I said, night mode. Sounds like you said mic mode. No, night mode. Night mode, okay, yeah. <coughs> yeah, um, every morning I have to reset her night mode because <laughs> she's like, Mr. Tom, why is my screen still black? <laughs> and I'm like, what have you done? <laughs> She's got absolutely every app known to man open and there's like flames coming out the side of the phone because it's trying to process them all. I'm busy doing lots of things. 
But anyway, I don't know what I do, but I sometimes accidentally. <laughs> you don't accidentally. You sit. She'll sit there and pr push all the buttons. Right. <laughs> it's broken. Right. No, it's not broken. I accidentally stuff up my night mode, so it's all this black, and I can't get it back to normal mode. <laughs> 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 uh, anyway anyway so we're gonna have problems with this this is why people don't understand but they're oh you need to put a camera on kim's head and give her her own mic no it's a recipe for disaster that's not actually 90 percent of this holiday is going to be me talking to myself <laughs> because <laughs> <laughs> she hasn't pressed record well I, it's hard it doesn't sometimes do the bleep 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 thing so yes, it I does. can't hear it you just push the button for half a second and let go what? but then if it doesn't bleep 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 at me I don't know if it's on or not so I've pushed it again no don't push it again oh I don't know <laughs> I get used to it I just need to practice you're a flipping nightmare Anyway. Nice looking to Kathy, isn't it? Mm -hmm. So he's champing at the bit to get past these guys. He will be, yeah. yeah. I'm not I'm not bothered. No good. Awesome, thank you. Right, I've ordered Tub Wiener to go to that cafe over there and buy me a coffee and a cake because I'm in a right grouchy mood. I think I'm overtired. It is a long way to Christchurch. Really, really long way. And I've got the hunger burps as well, which is never fun. It's also <laughs> boiling hot. Oh, I need a coffee. Is what I need. I'm like the opposite of itchy boots. You know how she's nothing phases her. She's super positive. I'm the opposite. <laughs> <laughs> I moan about everything. Right there. Right, coffee and cake time. Looks nice. Mm. We've been going for hours. We're very tired. We're nearly there, aren't we? Another. Another hour and a half. Hour and a half. Yeah. I don't know why it takes about four and a half hours in a car, but on a bike it seems to take forever to get to Christchurch. It's like an all day thing. We're in this beautiful little place. What's it called? Glen, Glen Tunnel. Glen Tunnel. Glen Tunnel. It's so, so pretty. pretty. So I think we'll video from here on in, shall we? But yeah. What's going there? Is it? That's a rugby club. Oh wow. Yeah. The playing field. Really clean, really Fantastic nice. clean toilets. Every single town in New Zealand has public toilets and they're as clean as the ones in your house. Amazing. Love it. Mm. Apples from our tree at home. A pretty place. Yeah, fantastic, isn't it? Oh, what well, appreciate it. Right, I, I won't video you too much. Tubwina's got a very full-on helmet hair. <laughs> <laughs> She'll make me edit it out. I've got helmet hair, edit me out. Bikes looking and going great. Still don't see us getting rid of this bike. It's just going so well, isn't it? <coughs> Amazing. We're riding like a dream. Just going real steady. Right, let's finish our apples and get going. Apples off our tree. Mm. Yum. Oh, we're nearly there. It's been 
we're not nearly there, but... Well, another hour. At least. And then we've got to find the accommodation in Christchurch, which is always fun. Oh, no. We... <laughs> 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 yes, that is going to be fun, especially late in the day, early evening. It's been uh, quite a good day though, it's been amazing weather, I've been so lucky. Oh, it's been a great day, but I'm ready for a cup of tea now. Ooh. But yeah, can't complain really, it's been great. The bike's been great, Tubwin has been great company, we've we've been listening to music. Yeah, we've been tapping along, it's been great. Yeah. Kim's <sighs> finally figured out how to play music into her. It's a new setup, it's only just happened, so Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Really? Yeah, just a little drive through town. So I will say everywhere we go in New Zealand has a clean public toilet. Yeah. It's just so well done. I, I absolutely love it. There's nothing worse than travelling and going to filthy toilets. Yeah, they were immaculate. They're immaculate. So Look at these little, little beautiful little side streets oh, yeah. with houses down them. Fantastic. Really? Look at the forest here, it's great. It's really lovely. Mm. Beautiful forests. That's why it's so good to travel in this country because there's always public toilets in every single little town. Yeah. Of which there are many. And they're generally very clean and, you know, they, um, there's somebody looking after them. Oh, there's a cafe there, look. It's a golf course, golf club. Yeah, it's a big cafe. Horrorata Golf Club. And that's the other thing that you get in New Zealand. Is Every single town has a golf club, yeah. <laughs> golf club, but also fantastic little country cafes and stuff like that with beautiful home baking. And right, we basically go to Darfield and then to Christchurch. Are we there? Okay, cool. Um, you're okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I'm pretty tired, but I'm alright. Me too, I'm fine, but I'm tired. Right, here we go, we're in Christchurch. Let's do this. I'm pretty sure we go left there, but I'm not going to... No. Say we that. definitely don't go left there, oh, that's Kim. That's sports the sports centre. Okay. <laughs> like, we I'm not listening to you at all. Alright. Right, so that's the, the hills. Hills, and yes. that's the airport, so we're somewhere in between there. Okay, here's a sign. I'm pretty sure we turn, turn left up here though. Yeah, we do, but not yet. I think we've turned left there too early once before and it takes you all the way around the back. Belfast. Belfast. Pit. No, Pit. we go Rickerton. Yeah. Rickerton. It's like Rigadon. Hey, Rigadon. Who was Rigadon of? I have no idea. I like Christchurch. I just there's a Me too. There's a vibe about Christchurch. I just like That's it. That's a big tree. That is a monster. Fucking heck. Yeah. It's a little bit rough and ready, Christchurch is. And there's definitely uh, an element to the town. But I like it. The city centre is awesome. I love it. It is. And um, Hagley Park is gorgeous. It's got problems, Christchurch, but yeah, it does. I still like it. Me Look too. at that, that's a beautiful place. Yeah, don't hear that. But to be fair, it's not surprising it's got problems with the stuff that poor old Christchurch people have been through. Yeah, for sure. You know? And it, when you have a disaster, it always hits the most vulnerable people first, doesn't it? Yeah. And it takes them the longest to recover. So it's, it's no surprising that it's got a bit of an element to it. I get it. But I still love it. I th it's just a great city. I love it. Yeah, me too. 
here. Does that say Elam? Island? Elam. Yep. yep. Or do we go to Rickerton? No. No, 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 no. Uh, no don't no. we go to the Rickerton Mall and find it from there? No, just go lift. Go lift here. Okay. I trust you. Just keep an eye out for that big um, pine tree, Kim. You think this is it? This doesn't look very familiar to this me. This is Elam. Mm, are you sure? Elam Road, yeah. You'd think we'd know by now. <laughs> How many freaking times have we done this? Okay, here's the... No, it's not the new world that you're thinking it is. That's a completely different no, one. No, the university is coming up on the left. Yeah, and that's a good sign, I think. Yeah, this is the university. Now, this is the confusing bit. Yeah, this is... Uh, now, now, I kind of want to turn right. I think we go left. We go left. Keep going straight ahead. Pretty okay, sure this is exactly what we did last no, time. No, we, we went right there. Why, Mary? No, this is... Yeah, keep coming around here. Remember we do that dog leg thing? That's nowhere near here, babe. Okay, don't worry. When we find Wairaki Road on the right, we're going to turn down it. And not until we find that road. I'm not turning down any other roads. <laughs> it's going to be Wairaki. And if this is the wrong road that doesn't intersect with Wairaki, we're going to end up on the other side of town. <laughs> <laughs> you haven't got a freaking clue where Shush, we are. I have. Here's the university. Called Waitley, no, that's not it. No, it's just a side road. Shush. We've gone wrong, this isn't the road. I knew it, we should have gone down the next one. Rickerton Bay. Mind you, isn't it off Island Road? And shall we go right here? Oh, you're just guessing. <laughs> you're hundred percent guessing. Hold on a minute. Is that the is that the oh. is that the tree? And that's the beat. Oh, I think gosh, we're going to crash. <laughs> is <it? laughs> we are now lost. Oh my god! Uh, Why don't you just it? listen to me? <laughs> if we go past the Rickerton Mall, we keep going, and we're there. We've done that road a thousand times. Why not just go to? Oh. It all looks the same. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. What was that one? Um, Good job. School. Good job. <laughs> We're at the other side of town now. Pe people from Christchurch watching this will be <laughs> clawing their eyes out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh god, right. we need here, we, sign. here we go, here we go. What does this say? No, this is completely oh wrong. I remember, oh, I this is exactly what we did <laughs> that last time. You, you, no. <laughs> you are... <laughs> just go right. Why? Why Mary? No, that's not, that's not it. Go down here. This is... Okay, now, now, we're proper lost now. Okay, now look on the right. Oh, what's this road on the right here? City centre. Yeah, we've gone all the way around the whole bloody city. What's this road? I have no idea, Kim. I have no idea where we are now. Oh, that's Hagel. <laughs> <laughs> where is Hagel for? Oh, for crying out loud. <laughs> I'm sorry. I have no idea where we are. Um, very pretty. Do you, uh, why didn't you just let me... Sorry. You were right. I was wrong. Um, is it, so we only can't hear what... <laughs> We only come here once again every single time. Every road looks the same. Oh, we're just, you don't know. I'm a visual thinker. I need to see something I recognise and then at the boom, I'll be there. 
Uh, you know, I'm completely lost now. I think that was that place that was um, an intersection. And well, if we go right again, then surely we've done a big square. Because <laughs> we, we've only been turning right. This is where we rode down to go to... No, city. it's not. I've never seen a... Look at the size of that cemetery. That's huge. Yeah, hmm. I literally don't know where we are now. No. I don't even... Just figure out which is north and south. That would be a good start. This is why we need the nav map. The sun sets in the west. So we're heading north. That's not a bad okay, thing. Okay, here's, here's a sign. Right. Uh, oh, Brindwood. Brindwood. Never heard of it. Shit. Well done, Kim. Yes. Complete. I'm going to go right Oops. because we've been right for the last three junctions. So in theory, if we go right again, then we're back where we started. Why would he rose? Ah, that's a bit of luck. So I think we've got to go right and why would he rose? We've just gone around a long way to get there. See? See nothing. Oh, we've never been here before, so... I know why we can vote, but is it left or right? It's Must definitely be. not left. It's got to be right then. It's got to be... This is it. This is why we can vote. Ha! Mm. Yeah. <laughs> I think we got really, really lucky. Something... in my brain. Something in your brain, there's nothing in your brain. You haven't got a clue where we're going. I found my Ricky Rose. You didn't find it, I just found it. <laughs> 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 if we would have kept driving straight on there. Right, um, where now? Uh, mm, I think we keep going. I uh, reckon that was the pine tree back there. Okay, we're heading back towards the hills, which is where we were heading in the first place. So somewhere between the hills and the airport is where we're going. The only problem is, in that area is the whole of Christchurch. Yeah, how many times have we done mm, that? That's and it's nice fish and chippings. <laughs> 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 I quite like driving around Christchurch, it's a nice place. kind of familiar. <laughs> Babe, it all looks the same. Uh, yeah. Every that's, single road. That's the problem. Yeah. Oh. We've done a big circle. Yeah, we have. Do you know where we're going to come out? <laughs> Rickerton, which is exactly <laughs> where I wanted to go in the first place. Okay. Island Road. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, and it's up here. Yep. Try it. Go, tea, go, go. You go and make the tea. I'll bring the stuff in. Ah. Ah. We made it. Yay. Oh. All flipping day we've been going. Oh. <laughs> Should I put it in? Yes, go on. All day, mate. We left at 10. 